Now let's get into a different type of ink called plastisol ink. Plastisol ink, instead of having a water-based binder, actually has a plasticizer binder, which is basically like a petroleum product. It's actually not bad for you at all, and it's pretty much the type of ink that's printed on probably about 90% of the shirts that you're, you actually wear. The great thing about this product is it does not dry until you cure it. And once it dries, it lasts a very, very long time. So this product needs to actually cure at 320 degrees, but we can leave it in our screen until we're done with our entire print job. So that makes the printing process a lot easier. Also, it's extremely opaque if you want it, and it's available in thin colors as well. You can also use a curable reducer to thin it out if you want that softer hand or feel. We're going to be printing on the side of the shirt with this 110 mesh Rockstar screen. Now this is Rionette white ink. It's a very opaque but very creamy white ink. It's much like the water-based white as far as the quality goes, but once again, this will not dry on your screen. A lot of times you actually don't have to worry about leaving your screen flooded. Now when we prepare to print this, we actually are going to flood our screen to load the stencil up. We're printing this through a 110 mesh, and with the thicker inks, typically you're going to print them with a lower mesh like 110, but if it has a little bit of finer detail, you're going to print it through a 156. Now we're going to accomplish our print. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We're going to print, and then we're going to do a print flash print as well. So we'll do one print, which is two passes. There's our two passes. As you can see, a very bright, opaque image already. But if you really, really want to get that image to pop, what we're going to do is we're going to do a flash cure of this. We've got our heat gun and then we're going to flash the ink. So to flash the ink, basically we're drawing in between layers to put another coat on top of it. We've got our platen sticky down here so that our shirt doesn't move between the two coats. And then the flashing process, you want to flash the ink basically until it's not wet anymore. So ink like that is not flash. So you want to be able to flash the ink so it doesn't come up on your fingertips. With a heat gun, the process of flashing takes about maybe 30 seconds to a minute depending on the image size and how hot your gun is. Now our ink is flashed and we'll come and do our second print. Same thing we did before except this time we don't have to flood the screen and we only need to print one time. Check that out. Look at how bright and opaque that print is. Now this is on the side of a shirt, but you can also do it obviously wherever you are printing. This is a 110 mesh with the round at white plastisol ink. Now the great thing about this ink is, look how bright and opaque it is, but it will actually never dry on our screen until we're done with the whole print job. So we can even leave this in the screen over the weekend, come back and continue to print later on in the evening or over the weekend even on Monday. Now with Plastisol ink, this does not dry until it reaches 320 degrees. So there's a couple different ways you can dry it. One is with that heat gun, but basically every section of the shirt has to reach 320 degrees. You don't want to run over the whole section at a time. So you want to focus on about maybe a four inch round circle and do each round circle for about 30 seconds. And you've got to make sure they overlap the circles because if the ink doesn't cure, it will wash out pretty much the first wash. Also, since it's wet, we do want to be very careful when we take it off the platen. Now, we're going to be using what's called a flash dryer to flash the ink. A flash dryer is the professional way of screen printing and flashing between colors and also can be used for curing effectively and quickly. Basically, right here we have our flash dryer. And the flash dryer has, this is a 16 by 16 flash dryer with a 1800 watt or 1600 watt heat element in it. This heats the shirt up to about 320 degrees on the surface of the shirt in a matter of about 30 seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on a table, a wood table, you obviously don't want to set it on a plastic table, and then about three inches above the shirt I'm going to rotate over my flash dryer. So right like that. Now typically this would be done on a screen printing press and you can see on you know screenprintingvideo.com or our website how that works. Now as you can see as soon as I rotate that over, over the image area, it starts to cure. Now it takes about 30 seconds to cure, and I actually can measure how hot the shirt is getting by using a laser temp gun. 
This laser temp gun is a fairly affordable product that you can actually measure to ensure that your ink is cured. Because remember, if your ink's not cured, then it washes out. We'll also show you a simple test on how to tell it's cured. Well, I'm just going to get under here and I'm going to point my laser temp gun on the surface of my ink. Now when that ink reaches 320 degrees, like it is right now, we're going to let it sit for about five seconds to let the heat actually penetrate through the ink. Plastisol is a thicker ink, especially with his white ink, so it needs to penetrate through the bottom of the ink to make sure it bonds to the shirt properly. There we have it. It's about 330 now. And you'll see it's slightly smoking. Plastisol has a distinct smell when it's cured. You can kind of smell it's a little bit of a burnt smell, but you want, definitely want to use this in a ventilated room. Uh, and doing it with a flash dryer like that definitely doesn't affect um, anything. So here we are. This is completely cured now. We actually tell that it's cured by slightly stretching the ink. Now you don't want to do this when it's super hot off the press, but we slightly stretch the ink. If the ink doesn't crack apart, especially with this thinner, thicker coat, we can tell that this is cured. Well, with a UDU machine, two passes, with some cool graphics there, got a fairly soft hand, not obviously as soft as water-based, still feels like your standard shirt you would buy in the mall, but look how bright and opaque that is. Once you are done printing with Plastol ink, it cleans up very easily. We're just going to be using an ink knife or our ink card to scoop the ink out of the screen, and then off the squeegee as well. And then this will not clean up with water because this is a petroleum you know, or plastisol product. You do need to use some more specialized cleaning chemicals for it. And we have very environmentally friendly chemicals that are based out of a soy cleaner or citrus cleaner. The one that we're using today is called Enviro Wipe. It's a citrus based cleaner, cleans plastisol beautifully, smells like orange peel. So it's an easy product to use. So now we have pretty much scooped all the way back in. We'll set that aside. Take our Enviro wipe, and we'll just do a couple squirts on the screen here. Then we'll take our Rio wipes and then just simply wipe it off. And look how easily it comes off right here. Nice, easy to work with smelling product too, as far as the Enviro wipe goes. Now we do have more aggressive products. So the more aggressive product would be called screen opener. That will actually clean the screen a little bit faster and better, but it's a lot stinkier. It's, and it also comes in a solvent can. I'll kind of show you the difference that here in a second, how that works. But basically just take this, I'm actually spray some Enviro wipe. This is an evaporating product, so once it's cleaned up, Evaporates nice out of out in the air as well, and then just clean the screen up very quickly and easily, making sure to get all the plastics off the screen. We're actually going to be using this screen for some different colors and different types of ink as well when we print our discharge. So we want to make sure to clean it all the way thoroughly. Plastisol ink obviously comes in tons of different colors and also tons of special effects inks, which we'll be printing in a little bit glitter, shimmers, you know, metallics. Also, Plastisol is an affordable ink to use and very user friendly as long as you're getting that ink cured at 320 degrees. That's the most important part. Now, a flash dryer to cure that ink, just a little bit more of an investment than your original UDU machine. So, it's a great product to invest if you're switching to Plastisol and it actually cures water based, discharge, and the UDU ink very, very effectively as well. So, you can use it for more than just Plastisol inks. Also, a great thing about this flash dryer is you continue to expand and grow your business. You're going to need one of these anyway. So, it's a great investment as you're starting out with the UDU machine and you continue to use it as you continue with larger equipment in the screen printing process.